afternoon everyone so from one studio to the next i hope you're all well my name is tony derrick and i'm a guest presenter over on create and craft i am at home at the moment this is the place i love to be so this is the wakefield studio and we are live with our fabulous craft academy which excites me so for those of you who don't know who i am my name is tony derrick and i'm a guest presenter on create and craft i was there this morning i'm not superwoman i didn't fly home i have driven home so if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click the subscribe button and there is a bell and a little HD button. If you want to click both of those, one will give you a better viewing experience and the bell will allow you to get all the notifications when any videos drop on our channel over on Stamps by Me. Did you watch the show this morning? Did you enjoy the show? Lots of lots of new products. So I hope if you did want something you were able to get it and if you didn't that's absolutely fine uh, Maybe you did get some craft Academy products and maybe you're sat here today thinking come on Tony Inspire me. Well, I'm gonna do my best because craft is My best thing ever and probably yours too. So let's just say hi to some of the lovely viewers. Hi Irene, Nola, David, Sarah Enid, Julie, Wendy, Sian, Maxine, Amanda, Jenny, Tracy, Rosie, and the list goes on. Sheena, Christine, lots of you on. I can't say them all, I can't keep up because I hold my breath when I do it. <laughs> so lots of lots of new products um, for the four day deal, but we are doing the Craft Academy. So basically Craft Academy is where you can buy the products should you wish and you can craft along. Um, and I'll use a couple of the products in each Craft Academy show and then when we get to the very end We're going to mix them all up when we've got through them all and use them all in a specific demo We're then going to mix them all up and just show you how we can get them to work across the board So we have 10 stencils 10 stamps although I think some of them have sold out I'm not certain I've literally not had a second to do anything. I've grabbed a quick sandwich uh, So don't ask me any difficult questions and do not ask about a box don't do it guys so in today's studio we're going to use the lovely ball gown and the foliage silhouettes but before we do that I want to show you some lovely samples we have our studio two is um, complete and it has some fabulous samples on um, display for you so I'm going to take a stroll over and I'm going to show you the samples that the lovely design team have made using the ball gown and predominantly the foliage so you can get an idea of what you can achieve with those specific stamps so if you haven't purchased them and would like to purchase them, you can go on and purchase them. But if you don't want to purchase them, that's absolutely fine. Have a look in your stash and see what you've got, what might work. Because sometimes we do have things in our stash that can be repetitive and they can work across the board. I'm just going to take a quick walk over and show you exactly what's in Studio 2. So here we go. Hello, Studio 2. Um, it's a big studio isn't it so some fabulous samples for you here so as you can see I've popped them all out on display so we've got a whole variation of different designs we have some inky ones we have some uh, black and white ones they're all over so I'm hoping there is a card that inspires you so we have let's just have a look so you can see the lovely um, silhouette style ones I'll just show you here on this green one here silhouette style ones and then we have all of our Craft Academy products and stamps from the whole range there for you to see. So you'll be able to get a good idea of all of the products that are in the show and gonna be in the show over the next five weeks. So I'm gonna take a little stroll back while you have a look at those samples and then we will have a lovely, lovely demonstration. So you can see there, look how gorgeous they are guys. If you love a gown, which we do, then you've got lots of different variations. You've got some coloured with your Copics, uh, your gossip markers, your watercolours, all the brands that we love and adore uh, and having our stash, dig them out and let's have a play. So what I'm gonna do in studio today, I hope you like those. Do they, oh, they all look fab, fab. Do you like the second studio? Did you notice I was a lot, lot taller in that studio? That's because it's a lower table because when Claire comes to visit, she's very short and we have to get the yellow pages for her to stand on. We don't really, but it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so I'm like up to my neck in samples where you wouldn't see Claire's head at all. Have we all got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee? Hopefully we have. I've got Tim's cup today, Mr. Cool. So shall we do some crafting? I hope everyone's okay and he's staying out of bother. Not that he can get in bother, he can't go anywhere to get in bother, can we? So, 
So I've Kathy Taylor saying, no one seems to know how to use the other side of the scoreboard. It's driving me mad. I just want to be put out of my misery. I have done a video of that one, Kathy, on YouTube. I'll see if I can dig it out and I'll attach the link um, underneath the studio after show. If not, I will do another one if it's disappeared, but I'm certain there is one there. Very, very simple. Two pieces of card just scored. But I'll show you. I will definitely show you. So, uh, any other questions? Let's go for it. So, in today's studio, we're going to use the two um, these two stamps today together. And the reason why I've picked these is because I think I felt they'd work really well together. And I'm going to try a new technique today that I've never tried before. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm happy to give it a go uh, because I know you guys do it at home as well. If it doesn't work, we'll move on. So, I'm using the ball gowns and the foliage silhouettes. So, let's crack on. So first of all, I'm going to give my lady a lovely gown. So I have, excuse me, I have some lovely patterned paper here. This is a little sneak peek. I'm not showing you the rest, but here is a sneak peek. I'm just going to grab my Eureka. Kathy, no problem, sweetheart. I will sort it for you. It is really, really simple. It looks complicated with all the measurements on there. It's really not. It's super simple, and I will show you. So I put the pattern paper into my Eureka and I have some white cardstock. So I'm going to stamp the gown twice, okay? So let's just grab the gown and I'm going to go for this one because it's got that lovely open fretwork on the gown and I want this sort of pattern to come through. So I'm going to go for the open gown on this one. And I'm going to try and get lots of colour in the base of that gown. So I'm just going to turn my paper around and get that lovely colour in a gown. Can we see that there? Let's go with that one. So I'm just going to stamp this one out in black. So you'll have a black ink pad at home. We're not colouring with it, so it doesn't matter what black ink pad we use. So the reason I love a good ball gown is, you know, it works across the board for lots of different things, but I love the technique that I'm doing now with dresses where you can put patterned paper on and create a gorgeous gown. I absolutely love it. So I'm just stamping the gown. Wow. I love it. I love it. I'm just going to go over it again in black, make sure I get a really black image. So we have that lovely gown at the base there. So I'm just going to take this one out and let's swap it out for some white cardstock. I'm just going to stamp the lady again, but on some white cardstock. So same ink pad. just love this sort of sketchy arty very forgiving you know we always try and do designs that are very forgiving so when we pick work from other designers or we use our own it's always very easy on the eye it's not like one dimensional and you've got to paint it this way because the results only look best that way when they're like this you, people can do them in so many variational ways which is great really <laughs> Somebody's at the front door. So let's just have a drink of coffee. So what's your thoughts? Does everybody like the studio? Tim and Nathan have worked relentless for the last two days to get that side of it finished for me. So do we all like it? We're just waiting for our logo for the wall. So that's super exciting. It's all coming together, taking a while, but I think it's worth it, don't you? You know, these things don't happen overnight. They take time and lots of money. <laughs> so, baby steps. 
got to walk before we can run hey so what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting the gown out very very roughly I don't really need to cut the whole um, lady out but I am so I'm just going around the lady's head here and around her arm just twist it around and then we'll just continue on down the base of that gown so we have our lovely lady there just cut out can you see that there so what I'm going to do now is just move this out of the way for a second and then this lovely part here is I'm going to cut her out but I'm going to sort of take the lady's body off sounds a bit harsh so I just want the dress and I absolutely love doing this on dresses and gowns. Let, getting your pattern papers out. We've got some beautiful papers in our stash. So you, you obviously won't have this one yet. <laughs> but you will have some gorgeous papers in your stash, I'm certain of it. And pick the best part of the design that you really like. Just take that up there. So I'm going to take off the lady's arm. I know it's harsh, I'm sorry. And we're just going to cut out that gown. And then I'm just going to follow that line. Sorry, I'm enthralled here. Everybody likes studio. Well done, everybody. Well done, well done. So just continue on down these lines. So we have just the gown. Can we see how pretty that is? So when you come to pop it onto the lady, can we see now she's got a beautiful watercolour gown on there? So let's make this gown pretty. So I'm going to be using the um, Anna Marie sparkly glitter. So I'm going to use it in a technique on the back of my card and fingers crossed it. I hope it works. I have an idea. It might not work, but I'm going to try. I like smelling papers. <laughs> Aren't we crazy? We're funny onions. So um, tomorrow, Claire is on Create and Craft as well. Don't forget, I've spoken to her this morning. She's super excited. So she's on at 12 o'clock for a double show with some like geometric type style things. But what she's, she's cleverly done is she's use them in with her confetti inks and things like that so if you have your confetti inks um, you'll be able to use those as well so and I'm on at 2.15 I'm being told 2.15 for the four day deal tomorrow so you're going to get a whole host of inspiration you can sit back and grab a cup of tea so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my glue just give it a shake here and I'm just going to where the dress, I'll just show you on this black and white image because it might show a little bit better. Can we see it's sort of like the dress has got some curves on there. I'm going to add a glue into those areas and get that sparkle in there. So use a, a glue that dries clear. So there's one there, there's one here. So basically where there is a layer on her gown, I'm just adding that glue. Can we see there? You can see it's white at the moment. So under the sort of textured gown. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go on some of the lines in a thi thin line. And this is just going to add that extra element of sparkle. Because I'm using the chunky glitter though, I'm not going to go heavy. I'm just going to add a little bit here, there and everywhere and hope, hope that it looks pretty. We hope. If it doesn't quite work out, you know, you can swap out the glitter for maybe a smaller glitter. This is a chunky one, but I quite like it. So I'll just open this one up. I'll just grab some scrap paper to catch the um, uh, no, embossed powder of the glitter. Pop it on here. it's still got the white underneath 
but that white will disappear. So we'll set this aside and we'll come back to it when that white's disappeared, okay? And then we'll show you how it works. So I'm just gonna pop it to the side with my white um, stamped image. So let's move on to our pretty background technique that I hope really works. So I have another piece of the same patterned paper and I have the corner design here. So this silhouette, these sil I love silhouette stamps as you all know, absolute favourites. But this one's being designed in a corner formation. Can we see that there? So when you pop it onto your cardstock, you get a lovely like corner design on there. Now you could stamp it in black, but I'm going to try a different technique. Fingers crossed it works. I'm just going to grab my Eureka here. You know where you have an idea? You know, those ideas should never be practiced live on air. It's one of those moments. <laughs> so let's pop this cardstock in here. Grab this card. Now these are, these are big stamps, big, big stamps. So I'm just going to place it over the corner of my artwork here. I'll hold it in place. I'm just going to use my sticky ink pad and I'm going to use some um, clear embossing powder. This is Claire's Crystal Claire. How ironic, hey? And I'm just going to use this one and some something special. It is the same glitter that I used on CNC yesterday. It's the Anna Marie. It's on the website. Um, we supply Anna Marie stuff now, which is fabulous. So it's the crushed iced crystals, and it's a really chunky one. It doesn't work on everything, but you know, it's a lovely chunky texture, which is nice. So let's ink up this stamp. First of all, anti-static, because we are doing heat embossing. So I'm anti-static that corner. I hope this works, please work. I can't see why it shouldn't, but you know, things have happened. So a sticky ink pad. And if it doesn't work, I'm not going to move my artwork and I'm not going to move my stamp so we can swap out the embossing. We will see. So I'm just going to do it twice. Of course it will. Tracy, I hope so. Oh, Tracy, I'll get back to you after show as well. So let's, oh, I'm going to have to move it and I to put my embossing powder on. Let's just go for it. If it doesn't work, I'm not going to upset myself. It's a piece of card, hey? So let's pop this clear embossing onto our design. Now it's going to be a little bit difficult probably for you guys to see at home. But it is there. Can, can, is that able to pick that up? Can we see that or not? Is it just me? We'll try on um, the front for you. I don't know if you can see the beautiful corner design there. Just because that powder is white maybe. Or maybe not. We'll try though. Uh, can see it a little bit. Let's heat set it and show you. Now this is clear, not white. Remember that I'm using clear because I have an idea. Right, so whilst that is like it is, let's just move everything out of the way because I'm starting to get a bit anxious now because I don't know if it's going to work or not. So Sarah Burr has asked a question, have you ever done single letter stamps to make names? We haven't, I don't think. Um, and we've probably stepped away from it because so many companies have done it. So um, I don't think we have. And I don't think we have, no. I'm sorry. Let's have a look. Yeah, Margaret, I know. Why do people always come to the door when you're watching? I, did you, you just hear our doorbell, didn't you? Hey-ho. 
it's a good job we can rewind so what I'm going to do is <coughs> excuse me I'm going to take the chunky glitter and I'm going to sprinkle it over the design she says I'm going to sprinkle it over our clear embossing powder and I'm hoping that when the embossing powder melts it grabs that chunky glitter so we'll have a, a clear overlay over our artwork and the um, embossing powder grabs that chunky glitter it might work it might not what I'm going to do though is I'm going to cover it all and hopefully when it heat sets that clear underneath it grabs that glitter does that make sense has anybody done this and it's worked or has anybody done it and it don't work tell me now before I do it oh. so I'm hoping the heat setting of the clear underneath is going to grab the glitter now again I'm trying something with chunky glitter as well so I'm, I'm really setting myself up for a fall here aren't I but we'll see so I'm going to get my gun hot I'm not going to go anywhere near my artwork and I'm hoping that it doesn't just blow it all away but we will see so I'm going to get my gun really hot to make sure it changes instantly and grabs it we'll see so I'm getting it really hot I'm not I'm not risking it just get it really hot I've get the fire extinguisher <laughs> So it's hot, so let's try, I'm gonna... So I put it really close there and it started to blow it away. So I'm doing it very, from a distance. And it is changing. It's blowing some of it away, but I think it might be doing it. just one second I know that's a great shot <laughs> but my gun is blowing it so what how what's the answer to that what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it over the top and whilst it's melting I'm going to drop the glitter in do you think that might work oh it heat from underneath and let's try that I get on my tippy toes one second and what a great idea it's working <laughs> I'm just making sure I keep hold of all that glitter on there oh it's coming it's going I don't know if you can I'll show you when I've uh, heat set it all but I think it's working <laughs> when I tip it up it's all going to drop off <laughs> let's just get this part done I'll just move it down a little bit what a great idea thank you for that one underneath what a great tip absolutely fabulous I think that's it so I go over top now and just no it's done don't need to do it let's just grab my paper let's just knock off the excess and hopefully it has grabbed Let me just give it a rub because there's no, no worse is than glitter all coming off but we'll see if it's worked or not i'm not going to do it heavy but i do i don't want excess don't know if you can tim has it picked it up can we see it yeah <laughs> Thank goodness. So I'll just get rid of any loose flecks that I haven't quite grabbed. And we've got like, um, can I just show again? Because I think it looks cool.
How cool is that? So tip for yourself. Thank you so much for that great tip. Heat from underneath, okay? Maybe use a finer one and see what effects you get with the finer one as well. I love that. It looks incredible. And I've just brushed off all the excess. So the ones that I wore loose are no longer on. Maybe heat embossing white. What time is it? Show me. Heat embossing white. Put the glitter on. Do it from underneath and see how different. Shall we do a white corner? Have I got time? I'm going to do a white corner. So pretty. Shall we do a white corner? Just because we can. So we've got a clear, so you'll be able to do two clear corners or two white, but I just want to see what it looks like in white. So anti-static the corner. I'm just going to grab my white, excuse me, just one second. As I have every embossing colour under here you can possibly imagine. Is that it? Another clear one. I don't have my white. Oh, what a shame. I'm going to go this one. So I've got rosy gold, okay? Because I can't find my white. Oh, just one second. Tim's pointing at... Um, <laughs> thank you. Don't tell her. She's, she's probably not watching, but I just pinched it off Claire's trolley. I will put it back, I promise. <laughs> so sticky ink pad again then. Let's just make sure our stamp is in the right place. So this time, let's try it in the white corner. So I'm going to hold it in place. We've got that beaut That is beautiful, I have to say, the clear. It's not quite coming across as well. Mind you, it does look beautiful on TV as well. Um, but let's just see if we can get a result with a white. So, so we'll have a white corner on this. But I think it'll still look nice, don't you? I'm a giddy kipper. Kathy's <laughs> Kathy, rather, I'm a giddy kipper. <laughs> You know me well, Cathy. So I'm just going to do it one more time. Get that sort of like extra thick embossing powder on there so it grabs that glitter. I can't wait to see all your cards now with glittered corners. <laughs> so let's try this. First of all, we need to put the white on, embossing. So this is the white embossing powder. So you can see that lovely white detail on there. There we go. It's better if I just tilt it up. There we go. You can see that white corner design. It looks like I've missed a leaf there. There we go. So let's try the same technique and see what it comes out on white. So if it does come out well on white, I would probably suggest that it's going to work on all of your embossing colour powders, maybe. But we will see. So the glitter. Just I'm just sprinkling it on, not a lot. You know when you think to yourself, why did I not just think to do it from underneath? Too giddy. So I think I've got that covered well. I'll just set this aside and then we'll heat set from underneath. Oh, Linda Walker says Frantage, Frantage is an embossing enamel. New to me is that one. So what you're basically saying is your excitement is <laughs> everybody's already doing it. Is that what you're saying? What is Frantage? Yeah, what is Frantage? So I'm going to go underneath. I'm going on the top of toe so I can see what I'm doing here. We can see those leaves coming through.
There's me thinking I'm a smart pants and everybody's already doing it. <laughs> Never mind. So you can see there the white detail on that backing piece. Let's just get rid of the excess glitter on here, look. Just giving it a scrub. I only want the glitter to stick to my image. Oh my, oh my, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Let's just get rid of this. Make sure you give it a good scrub, get rid of all the freckles, in all the flecks in between, so it is actually just stuck to your image. There we go. Get rid of all the ones that are not actually stuck. So you've got your white element here, and then just down here we've got that clear one. Can we see there? Just on there. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to work with that one because... I really like that. So I've just got rid of all of that. So let's create this card then. So give it a go. If you have got the fram frontage, fromage fray, <laughs> the frontage, I'm joking, the frontage, um, show us, get, make some cards and then we will um, share them on the Eureka fan page, can't we? So let's stick this to our card. So I'm going to use tape and glue because we've got a bit of a cockle in our card. You can hear it all, can't you? Scraping on my glass mat. Ooh, sounds like the car going through ice. And I am going to pop some glue behind too. So, to the lady who asked about letters, we have got some letters coming up in a collection, but I don't think they're letters as to do what you are thinking but we have some individual letters with quite a cool technique on them coming soon in fact in a few weeks so I've got some black card here so I'm just going to mount because I like the clear better it just looks incredible I'm just going to put that one to the top because I like that the most Give it a second to grab. So what was just a plain piece of card is now got a gorgeous silhouette type style watermark on the back here. In the shape of leaves, it's beautiful. And then I'm going to stick this on, excuse me a second. got a piece of that glitter stuck in my thumb and then we're going to mount our card onto this top folding note card here I like the clear best Elizabeth saying Elizabeth Castle yeah I think I like the clear best as well but it is food for thought isn't it the white does look really nice I can say it does look really nice but it's, again, you're going to have to, you try it at home and then you'll decide which you like the best. So let's bring in our um, dress. So you can see it's practically dry here. That little pit part there is drying in the middle, but it's still a little bit wet left and right. But it's okay, I'm going to go with it. So let's stick this to our lady. So she's got a most gorgeous gown and the other gown as well is equally as beautiful that's more line art it's got more lines in so that would look very well in heat embossing so let's just get a pad for this lady to 3d her on my card
just give it a little bit of shape, give it a pinch. Now she's getting lost on there, isn't she? She's sort of blend. Mind you, this does look incredible around her, doesn't it? But I do think she's getting a little bit lost. We might have to paint her body to make her pop. And what I've done ahead of time is I've stamped have fun and happy birthday, which is from our lovely floating on air um, stamp set. And then I'm just going to pop these flat. Papers are available in a few weeks. Happy birthday. Now you will have to be mindful that this is trying to stick onto chunky glitter now, which might not happen. Just be mindful that pads might be better. So I might just give that a second to grab. Um, shall we pop some, do we think we need some sequins around or do we think it's sparkly enough? Put the lady inside, that's a good idea Irene. Maybe put her on a panel, a plain panel so she stands out if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to leave her though because I do like it. So shall we pop some sequins or shall we leave? You haven't missed much, Karen. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, Black Lady Silhouette maybe, that's a good idea. Oh, it's too late now. Everybody's on it apart from me today. So you could put her onto some black, cut round, giving her that border, and then she'll pop from the page like this black border here. I am going to leave it though, but I think you just get the idea of what you can achieve. So let's just show, so you can see how gorgeous that is. It's an incredibly beautiful card, really, is uh, hoping the camera is doing it justice. There we go. So you can see that clear at the top with that sparkle and then on her lovely gown. Happy birthday. Have fun. So there we go. The main element of it was me thinking I'm genius when clearly I'm not. Is popping the glitter in your embossing powder to create texture and then the lovely um, paper piece of dress on. You could actually paper piece that dress on three times because it's got like got three tiers in a gown. So there we go. Silence is golden. So thank you. Oh, everybody's, you're all too kind. You really are. It didn't turn out quite like I'd have expected. She does need a silhouette round to make a pop, but you can do that. And I'll be sat on the couch tonight with the wee boy waiting for all of your um, makes to appear so I can say, wow as always so whatever you're doing have a lovely afternoon don't and evening don't forget though tomorrow i am back on creating craft albeit it's zoom and it's from here which is nice i don't have to get on the road and claire is on tomorrow as well with a brand new launch and i think that's her last collection of the year i don't think she's launching anymore she didn't say anyway so um i think that might be the last one of the year so whatever you're doing stay safe stay cozy have a lovely evening with your friends family if you are on your home stay if you are on your own stay connected via facebook social media someone is always a listening ear no matter what okay i'll see you all later utterly gorgeous helen thank you so much see you later everyone bye